y'all so welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be making a keto breakfast and to start that off we're going to be doing cauliflower hash brown so this is the bag of cauliflower that i got from sam's and it has packets 12 ounce packets of um cauliflower in there and you put it in the microwave and run it up for four minutes and then you're gonna see in a second what I do with that. But I have the eggs out, the cheese out, um, the seasonings that I'm gonna be using. You can put bacon bits in there. Um, you can do whatever you choose. And then I have my pan. Um, I already have it for 100. And then we're also gonna be doing um, truffles or whatever you call them. So, let's get started. So here you guys see me prepping the cauliflower and getting all of the water out of it because in the hash browns, we don't want them to be watery at all. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be getting all of the water out of the cauliflower and then mixing all of the ingredients along with my seasonings together and then forming them on a pan and then they're gonna cook at a 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. And then we're gonna cut the boiler on so that it can kind of finish out the process. I will have the link to the recipe listed down below in the description box. Saying goodbye 
All I know is I need to be Somewhere else to set me free I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out But I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me And take me away to where I should be now we're going to be making the truffles and you're going to see me cracking the eggs, putting the seasonings together and doing the cheese, egg, cheese and that's really as simple as it is for the truffles. For the truffles, I put two eggs in here but I wanted to put some ground cinnamon and some stevia in the row in there. This is what I spray in the um, waffle maker and then I put cheese down, then egg, then cheese. And I'll do that and I'll show y'all when it comes out. Oh. for about 15 20 minutes on 400 degrees and then i let them broil in the oven for about five um about five seven minutes and this is what they look like and these are the truffles that i made and i added some extra stuff in there um and i got me two of them an egg and a piece of sausage and then i'm gonna have cauliflower hash browns and another piece of sausage and then these are just extra because that weighed that made way more than i thought it would this is the finished product um i'm still not gonna be able to eat all of this probably ain't gonna need that um i got the truffles the egg sausage the hash brown and i like sugar but not sugar <laughs> i like um ketchup on my hash brown so i have this kind and then i'm gonna use this kind of um syrup for this because i i kind of wanted more of a breakfast waffle without having making having to make the whole keto waffle so i did truffles instead so let's see I'm out of there. There we go. Let's do the Cash brown first. I could get with that. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. I'm excited about I'm excited about that. Alright. Now for this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You taste the cinnamon in these and the um the stevia in the raw it's good i'm glad i did that that way it has more of a breakfasty feel to it instead of just a regular truffle that you could use for like burgers and stuff it's more like a waffle waffle it's good y'all 
This is good. Mom um, used to say when I was a kid, I would always dance and hum to my food. <laughs> I still do it till to this day. Yeah, this is so good. Everything came out perfect. I wouldn't change nothing.